it is Matt from Matt Lancet All Fitness. I am going to take you through my self myofascial release techniques for hip mobility. Okay, so I do this pre training my glutes, quads, um, anything that's going to be uh, hip dominant movements. Okay, so self myofascial release is essentially you taking some sort of mechanism, uh, whether it be a roller or a softball or a lacrosse ball or something like that, or even your whatever is going to work for you and moving the fascia and stimulating the muscle fibers with that object. Okay. So what this does is it allows your muscles to get some range, range of motion before you move into your strength training. Um, move. So what I've done is chosen five muscles that tend to cause people the most grief, uh, at least that I get complaints from as far as my clientele. So we'll start off with the TFL, which is your tensor fascia latte and, um, where that is, is it's located right here. Okay. It's kind of on the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to get onto foam roller like this. Okay. And we're going to simply find the spot. If you, you want to have your hip a little bit forward more, that's kind of where it's located. It's not directly on the side of the body. It's right about here. So you're going to definitely feel it. It's pretty tight on most people. So once you locate it, what I want you just to hang out here. So we're going to spend a little time here and then what we're going to do is we're going to, to, to start to move laterally across the foam roller. So I call this technique spanning. So we're going to span across the muscle and then we're going to move cross friction across the muscle, which is moving like this. So we're pulling the muscle fibers apart as the muscle is a long muscle down that way. So we're going to be pulling them apart, moving across just like that. Okay. If that isn't as effective, I want you to move into using a ball. Okay. So what we're going to do there, same thing, place it down here, find the spot and hang out there. Okay. You don't want to apply too much pressure when you're rolling. You want anywhere from a six out of 10, um, being the most amount of pressure you're going to apply or else you're just going to aggravate the muscle. So the next muscle group that I want to focus on uh, for our self myofascial release is going to be the rectus femoris. Okay. So we have four quadricep muscles, right? Quad meaning four. So the rectus femoris is the muscle that runs straight down and attaches right behind the patellar, which is your kneecap. Okay. So it is a hip flexor muscle. So it brings your knee up. So it tends to be really shortened in a lot of people and it can cause a lot of grief. Um, especially when you're doing lots of squats, things like that. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to come down onto the roller <clears throat> and place it pretty high up. The insertion point at the, uh, the higher end is tends to, we tends to be where it's more tight for, for most people. So again, we're just going to place ourselves on it and we're going to begin to roll side to side and then move into doing our cross friction. So the third muscle group that we're going to be focusing on for our self myofascial release is our vastus lateralis. So again, it's another quad muscle. So vastus lateralis is the quad muscle on the side. Okay. So here's your IT band, which is again, another uh, band of connective tissues that creates issues for people. But the, right above that is a muscle called the vastus lateralis. So this is what we're going to be targeting. Okay. So <clears throat> we're going to get onto the side. We want to make sure that we are planting just a bit. We don't want to be too much on the side. That'll be your IT band. So we're going to come across like this and we're just going to begin to find the most triggered spot. Okay. So for people with knee, knee pain, it's going to be closer to your knee. For people with more hip pain, it's going to tend to be up higher. Okay. So it depends where. So for me, it's going to be, it's right about here. So I'm going to hang out here. I'm going to let the roller melt over the muscle for about 20 seconds or until I feel it, it release. And then I'm going to begin to do my spanning. Okay. So I'm going to move across the muscle side to side for, I would say about eight times, nice and slow. And then we're going to move into our cross frictions. Okay. So that's going to be shifting. You can use this foot over to give yourself a little bit of momentum and we're going to shift across the muscle in a, like a saw pattern. Okay. 
just like that. So the next muscle that we're going to be focusing on, or, th or series of three muscles, is our, our glute series, okay? So we have your glute med, which is right directly on the side here. We have glute max, which is here. And we have our glute min, which is kind of buried underneath both of them. It's a little fan-shaped muscle, kind of right in here. Okay, so you don't necessarily have to roll all of them. What I want you to focus on is I want you to focus on what is the most tight. Okay, so I'm going to take the ball. I'm going to place it right underneath on the glute. And let me tell you what's tight. So for me, it's my glute med. My glute med is definitely the tightest. I can feel it. Um, so I'm just going to hang out here. Again, same thing. We're going to hang out for about 20 seconds and let the ball just kind of melt around the muscle. And then you can move around just, you know, nice subtle movements. You don't want to be kind of rolling too aggressively with this. All right, so the last uh, self-myofascial release that we're going to do is for our hamstrings. So it's very difficult to get into the hamstrings when you're, on, when you're down on the ground. There's just, it's really hard to get enough weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to be up on a bench here like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ball I'm going to place it underneath my left hamstring here. For a lot of people, the higher insertion point up closer to the buttocks is going to be where you're going to find a little bit more tightness, uh, but depends on your, on your body. Um, so just start here and begin to just kind of move around on the hamstring and find where it's the tightest. Moving to the side, you can turn your foot out to the side if you want and sit up and apply as much pressure as you need and taking pressure off with this back. Um.